Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at the brand new Air Soft Clipper. Okay, from Air. Awesome. Right, okay, so I've got this on a bunch of things, right? I've got it on the drum track, I've got it on this synth track here, I've got it on this like banjo thing, I've got it on this Prophet. But they're all bypassed at the moment and I've also got one on the master mix. So we're going to go through this in some detail so you can see the kind of thing you can do. Right, at the moment, at launch, it's on sale at $19.99, so $19.99. And then it will eventually go up to $24.99 after, after the initial launch. Right, okay, what is it? Well, it's a soft clipper. You can imagine like you have hard clippers, soft clippers, limiters, compressors, all that kind of stuff. Uh, whereas a limiter will actually lower the volume, well, it will control the volume of an entire track or uh, whatever. A clipper will, it, it won't lower the volume, but what it will do is will it will cut off the top part of the frequencies that go past the threshold you have set. So, for example, it's like going to a, to a barber's and getting a haircut. If you've got really fuzzy hair, they're going to give you a flat top They've clipped all that stuff off the top and it can really bring out stuff in the mix, you know. So look, I'm going to solo these drums here. Let me just see. Right. So I'm just going to play the loop. And this is the soft clipper that's associated with these drums. So I'm going to turn it on. OK, so you have a this is advanced. This is the basic version here. So you have a drive. And a post level. If we come to, into advanced here, we can change the shape and we can see the post level out. We have release, true peak, anti aliasing, stereo link, out level. So if I drive the post level down a little bit for you and then push the drive up. You can see the amount of clipping it's now doing. So this is literally chopping off the top of that waveform, if you like, if you can visualize the wave. So most of the time you wouldn't want to use a soft clipper in such extreme circumstances. You know, it's nice for just controlling everything without completely destroying the dynamics. So if we set it somewhere around here with a little bit of clipping going on, we have different shapes. Now a soft clipper, a soft clipper works slightly different differently than a hard clipper, whereas a hard clipper just literally goes chunk and chops off the top of the waveform. A soft clipper will allow some smoothing and rounding at the top where it's been cut off so it's a, a kind of more smooth uh a, a smooth effect if you like on the waveform it's not so harsh okay let's get on with this right so i'll unsolo this and solo this one number two here i'll open the soft clipper here for number two Turn it on, and this really brings out the actual synth. So a little bit of distortion. Nice, see? This is our drums. Let's say we wanted to distort this synth a bit more. Let's turn the drums down. So I've turned it off, so I'm on. a lot of clipping going on there as you can hear 
Let's have it. Very fast release. So you can smooth that out even further with the release. Turn anti lazing off. Change it to a sine wave. Banjo. Okay, so let's have a look. See, we haven't got to do much to get it to be clearer in the mix. However, Dial this back till it's just perfect. And this is 100% mix, but you can blend between the clean signal, of course. Stop this for a sec, right? So, on this Profit 5, our Tory's Profit 5, I just had this kind of basic, nice, kind of stringy pad type sound. So, let's look at it for this. I'll just shift these out of the way a little bit so we've got some space for the new one. Where's my Profit? Here it is. So, I'll open uh, the soft clipper and I'll turn it on, right? So this is good for this is good for this kind of stuff. So we're giving it a nice boost in volume for the kickoff. And it lets me bring in if for instance if I'm playing this and I want to solo over the top of that stuff that's playing with the profit, I want to bring in a soft clipper. So without the clippers, you can hardly hear it in the mix. We don't want to be driving the volume too much. So let's bring it in. What's cool, you can really use this to shape the sound of the instrument. Okay, so. Let's put it on parabolic. Let's put the mix up full. Let's bring some release in anyway. But take it down so it's quite short. Let's turn true peak and anti-lazing off. And let's push the drive. And this is where you can balance the mix if you really want it to be distorted. Tons of clipping going on. And... So it is, let's push this up. Here. And without the clipper, it loses all that compression and excitement when you release the key. Difference between this now and the tan. Sign. Cool beans. 
Now let's listen to what happens when we play around with the release. No release, might as well switch it off. Okay, let's switch release on. Exactly the same, we need to bring it in. That compression when it lets go is a lot smoother. So without now, it like goes and then just comes back in. If we push this up a little bit, not so bad if we have it go much higher. So it depends on what you want. Awesome stuff. And again with the mix, of course. Well, sorry about that. Okay, very good. Now, you can of course, it's entirely up to you. If you want to use a soft clipper on every single track you can, it's extremely efficient <laughs> on CPU, extremely right. So, nice bit of distortion still. But if you didn't want to have it kind of be so distorted, you want to retain the original the original vibe of the track, you can. It's still gonna do its job. Okay, so what we need to do is we'll switch it off for this one. Of course, switch it off for all the others we've got going on here. And the last thing we shall do is have a look at this uh, on a master channel. Now, I, I, I guess, most case uses could be used on the master channel because what it will do it was it will it will kind of control your drums and stuff from going to bonkers in the mix but you can still overdrive uh, uh, the entire mix sort of thing so for example look all of these are now kind of bypassed let's open it up on the master channel okay and it's bypassed as well so at the moment it's there's no other soft clip has been used, just this one on the master channel. See what I mean? Straight away, as soon as I bring this in, it are quite sensible. Post level is full, drive is, what, 32%. No release, mix isn't even full. Let's push the mix up full. Let's try to bring the post level down so we can control the output a bit better before we start driving this stuff hard. And then we'll, we can get an idea of what's going on on a complete mix. Right, okay, so. Hardly any difference, right? Let's turn it on. So now we've got our post level really low. Our mix is 100%, output level is quite high, drive is sensible. Very similar. So let's drive it up a bit. Let's switch our release on. We're clipping now. So we can control the mix a bit. Now, as an example, this isn't good on a master mix because you're now beginning to distort. You're adding distortion or saturation. Of course, that's what you want. That's fine. But if it was a mix like this, we'll look at some of the presets. If it was a mix, you would want to be more controlled. 
Ciao. Controlling that by reducing their peaks, right? So Epic stuff. Okay. Let me go to my. Now I'm going to turn the master mix down here, okay? And I'm going to start to drive this. So I'm going to put play with some presets. So we have uh, this one, and I'll drive it back up. This is a really nice one, actually, as a general guide. Try a few more of these presets. So we've got heavy, so deep driver. Straight away, you can hear that run. Okay, let's have a look at. Um, Fuzz one, I think fuzz one is in the heavy anyway. Yeah. Make it a bit snappier. Cool. Let's carry on with the heavies here. Plus two. Oh, it's driving it quite hard now. Again, probably not the best idea for a, like a, a, a sitting on the master channel sort of thing. Uh, it's, sorry, I'll do it with the preset browser. Uh, heavily compressed. Without. That's actually really nice. Maybe too much. So, right. I turn the volume down. Listen to the sound of the drums and don't forget this is on the master mix listen to the sound of the drums when i pull the release back down and make it really snappy and tight Them, it makes them pop out of the mix a bit better, but it's also obviously controlling everything else as well. Okay, let's try um, heavily compressed two. Got to mess around with the release when you do this, guys. Don't forget to try the different shapes. Max Payne. 
Extreme Extreme Reduction <laughs> okay and let's tr let's just try a couple from the parallel this is a nice one Try solo and maybe solo the epic stuff. Let's try. And if you're enjoying this video, please strike the like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. We've got some like, oh, right. This is a good example, right? Finish here. A much more sensible control. I bypass it. There's much more presence and excitement in the mix in general. Without me having to do a lot of work, I haven't done any EQing and stuff like that. It's just what it is, just a few loops and things. And that sounds really good. So if you're, I would suggest if you're using it on a mix like this on the master channel, use some from the light section and then just make a few adjustments. We'll go through those. Let's just play this. <laughs> Sounds much better. And there's no like serious clicking going on. So if I take the drums down a little bit in the mix and then bring this back in, you see how good it makes them sound? So lots of different options for master channel stuff. Yeah, better with the soft clipper in. Guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's Air Soft Clipper. It's on sale at $19.99 and then it goes up to $24.99. I don't know when. Awesome stuff. It's really, really good and the mega efficient on CPU. I mean, I've got what uh, six of these running uh, 
one on the master channel, well, five of them, one on the master channel and one on each of the other channels. Awesome. So you can use it however you like, you know, you can use it to control stuff, like make kind of stuff punch back on through. Any way you like. Adds nice distortion as well. Epic. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I will see you later. Ta-ra.